Hey, what's up guys? This is going to be our spoiler-free review of Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. Um, I'm gonna go first. Um, I'm just gonna say I was heavily disappointed in the movie. Um, uh, the story arc that it was based on, I cherish a lot, and they kind of, you know, not really butchered it, but kind of butchered it. Um, Ben Affleck was great as Batman and Bruce Wayne. Cavill was Henry Cavill, Superman, Plank of Wood. Um, Gal as Wonder Woman was fine for the little screen time she had. Jesse as Lex, uh, not my favorite Lex Luthor. Um... The, uh, the story was a bit of a mess. I give it a 5 out of 10. I wouldn't suggest you paying to see it personally. I I want to watch the 3 hour cut but I kind of don't because I found myself vastly bored throughout the movie even during the action scenes. So yeah, 5. My score. John. Um, I felt very like no, like I had no real reaction. I was very like flat the entire time. It didn't really like didn't all inspire me. There was no humor. The action was decent. CGI was really bad at some. It, parts. it was really rough at certain sections. The CGI was almost laughable. I literally there's a moment I thought bat. I, there was actually a scene where I thought Batman was an action figure. I was like, is that stop motion? Because that's how bad the CGI was. Um. I would give it like a 5.5 because to me it wasn't bad. It just wasn't good. I, like I said, I didn't enjoy it. I just sat there and watched it, I guess would be the right answer. <laughs> just keep talking. Just keep going. I'm right. done. Okay, <laughs> go be live. Did you, you didn't rate it. Yeah, 5.5. 5. 5. 5. Oh, shit. Go be live. Um. Uh, well, let's see. I went in with zero expectations, zero hype, zero thought they could even pull it off. And guess what? They didn't. I'm sorry, they didn't. I thought the movie was bad. Mediocre at best. Um, Mediocre. I guess some of the fights, I mean, the fight scenes were not impressive by any means. Uh, I agree I agree with everything they had to say. I mean, there was some, um, there was a moment where I was like, right, I was down with the fight scene, but... The just no. Just, just no. I didn't. I guess I'd give it like a, a five, five out of ten. I. It's something I would never watch again. I'd, if I was flicking through the channels, I would not rewatch that movie. And also, before people, please remember that on a scale of one to ten, five is average. So yes, it sounds bad and rough, but five means it's just an average run-of-the-mill movie. It's not bad, and it's not good. It's average. And, guys, uh, speaking for myself, this is coming from someone who really likes Diana and really likes Batman. Hell, I'm wearing a Batman v Superman shirt, and this is my little shrine to Batman v Superman, I, and I wasn't very fond of the movie myself. Like, there were certain scenes where I fanboyed a little bit, like the well, that well, no spoilers here, but it's just I felt very dull and bored and like no reactions from the movie. Like, like yeah, I never felt like happy, sad, or emotional throughout it. I was very like dull, like flatlining through the whole movie. He was cosplaying Henry Cavill as a uh, Batman. Yeah, wooden. Um, mean Superman or whatever, man. I know what I meant. Yeah. Um. And also, if this is anything, like, sometimes, you know, at the end of the movie, people clap, people laugh. Some people will blurt out and say, like, wow, that was horrible. It was like someone silenced the entire theater and everyone was stunned. Mm -hmm. During the movie, people were talking, you could hear chattering, people saying, what's going on? And then at the end, it was just dead silence. The movie just ended yeah. and there was nothing. And, and people act, just walked out. And it was like, know, and also, cool. like, it, like they were, and I took the time to actually look around. They looked, like, bewildered. They were like, where am I and what just happened? And that's not what you wanted. Like, you wanted people to be like, yeah, we just watched one of the greatest movies ever. And it was more like, okay, that happened. And some people, like, ran out of theater. Like, they were yeah. like, they had no yeah. time to wait around. They booked it. And other people, like I said, looked like they were in a daze. They were just like, what? The only thing I will give the movie, I, honestly, 
I really did like Batflick. Yeah, I gotta I say, I really did yeah, like. I, I liked him as Bruce Batman. Wayne. I liked him as Batman. I the, the one thing I did give the movie, I was like, I'm calling it. It's gonna be my favorite Batman. It's gonna be the best Batman in my eyes. It was. Yeah. I the I just, way he moved and the combat and all. I just yeah, I love the way he pulled off the characters. This, this is just me, but every scene without Batman or even Bruce Wayne felt boring. But like for me personally, the second Bruce Wayne slash Batman showed up. Then I really got into the movie. So this is to DC Comics. Make a Batman solo movie. And and please let Ben write it and direct it. Because I I look up to Zack Snyder as a hopeful future filmmaker myself. From, from the visual standpoint. But from the storytelling. Zack can't really portray a proper story. While Ben has shown he can. So let Ben Affleck do the solo Batman movie, and I hope somehow Zack Snyder doesn't do the Justice League movie, deep down. But I'm looking forward to kind of the future of the DCU to see how it all pans out. And a lot of stuff felt rushed, like the Justice League cameos. That's not a spoiler because that was well known, and uh, I wasn't fond of those outside of the the flashes. Um, like I said, five, five score. It's nothing special. It's far from the worst comic book movie I've ever seen, but it's also far from the best comic book movie I've ever seen. Um, I don't want to put it in the same tier as Green Lantern because that's like really, really pushing it. <laughs> but I'm one. I I am one for the few that actually kind of like Green Lantern. I mean, it's not a good movie, but I can enjoy it for what it is and I'm probably going to feel the same way about Batman v Superman in a few months I'll probably rewatch it the three hour cut probably I'll, I'll force myself to sit through it but maybe I just need time to think about it and maybe it'll all click but yo that was a good movie but right now it's a uh, to uh, quote one of the best films from last a year, Mad Max Fury Road, mediocre. And that's that's all it is. Guys, anything else to say? You guys good? Yeah. Thanks for watching. Feel feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share it. Uh, thanks for watching again. Catch y'all later.